Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I think I'm just getting delirious because I can't breathe out of my face very well because I'm very decongested. I'm congested, I'm not decongested. I want to be decongested. Ugh. Anyway, this week's video, I want to talk about 10 plants that I just kind of, there's no other way to say it, but I want to remind you that they exist. I just feel like people don't talk about them anymore. So it's just kind of like a little spotlight on, hey, these things exist and I want to tell you about them. Also, so, shameless plug, my feed is out, it is available in the UK, it's got a whole bunch of good shit in it, link below in the description if you want to know anything about it, I won't bore you all to death, but I'm very very proud of it, and by now I think people should be experiencing some effects. So I'm recording this ahead of time, hopefully it's gone well, and you can buy it from the link down below. Anyway, so I've got 10 plants here that I want to remind you exist, just to talk about them, nothing specific, just like, hey do you remember this, do you want one of these now? This could be quite interesting for you, so if you want to spend maybe mid to high doubles, this might be the video for you. If you don't, then just sort of test your knowledge and see if you remember these. Let's see if you remember these. Speaking of the unfamiliar, I want to take a moment to talk to you guys about our sponsor for today's video, Babbel. So you may not know this about me, but I actually studied languages a lot in school and college when I was younger. I started both French and German when I was in high school. I actually also picked up Latin as well. That is a whole other thing, believe me. But not long after college, I didn't really use it, I suppose. I didn't do it at university and I just kind of forgot. Given that I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling next year and things like that to the EU, it just makes a lot of sense to pick it back up. Now this is where Babbel comes in. It is one of the world's top language learning apps and it is scientifically proven to get you speaking another language within three weeks. Je m'appelle Alice. Merci beaucoup. Not only that, but lessons are created by real language teachers and use real conversations. So when you do learn things in the app, they're actually useful. It's not a random conversation that you would never really have. Pardon, monsieur? La place est libre? Oui, bien sûr. Now I chose French to start with, but I have actually been tinkering with the German as well, mainly because I like to know when I learn one language, I kind of get annoyed if I don't know the word in the other language at the same time. For example, ich heiße Kaylee, je m'appelle Kaylee. Merci, danke. Kann ich die Rechnen haben? La décision, s'il vous plaît. Try Babbel now and get 60% off your subscription by clicking the link in my description. And please do let me know if there's a language that you would like to learn and why you want to learn it. Thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring today's video and uh, let's get back to the plants. Right, no particular order. Plant number one. Oh my god, I think mine's died. But thank god I'm not worried about it because I think I can get another one at this point. And that's the beauty of this video and that's why I want to do this video. The Philodendron Burley Marks Fantasy. Fantasy. Very, very special. When I first talked about this plant, I talked about it in the first ever, do you remember it? The Philodendron Rare Plant Index. I do have two, so if that's something that you want to look at, then it should be on my channel. But yeah, I, I, honestly, I love this plant. It was just so different. It was so different. I don't think it was the easiest thing to grow, but it was a really, really nice plant. It randomly caught traction. Again, like everything in 2020, it just caught traction because somebody would say something like, hey, I don't have that. Yoink, want it. You know what I mean? I'm not saying everyone wasn't genuine about it. You, you get the vibe, guys. You get the vibe. So I feel like that had a journey and then I don't typically see it anymore. I don't think. Let me know if you've got it in your collection because I don't think everyone has. I don't think it's the quickest growing plant. I don't think it's the easiest to size up and stuff like that. Could be wrong. I, I, it was never that easy for me. Anyway, I just wanted to remind you about that plant because it is very, very nice. It's a very interesting color. It's like a silvery, like bluey green. It's really odd and it, it is nice. I, I might have to look at this because I haven't, uh, as of filming this video, I haven't got to look at pictures of these. It's just like, oh shit, yeah, I remember that. So I'm going to look on Instagram and see if anyone's got any sexy ones um, because it, it's a nice plant and I don't think anyone cares anymore, but I think you should because it's a nice plant. I'm not saying it's the easiest, I'm just saying it looks nice, you know. Next plant on the list. Oh God, okay. No, I actually love this one. Nice. I actually, I actually love this plant, guys. This is not like the last plant. This is a plant that I don't understand why people don't have it. I don't get it. Could be the growth habit. But then again, regular Monstera can do this, so I don't know. But anyway, the next plant on my list is the Monstera Panati Partita. Uh, clue is in the name. When this Monstera grows, it doesn't get any holes, it just gets splits in the leaves, hence Panate. Yeah, that's where it comes from in the name. Uh, it's such a nice plant, guys. It's such a nice plant. Obviously, I'll have photographs for you, no 
out. Uh, hopefully, hopefully photographs that show it justice, I hope. It's just such a cool plant. Really, really, really cool. Leaves aren't round, they're more like long and like almost like oars, like of a boat. Um, they're just gorgeous, they're so good. Now the internodal spacing is, it's non-existent. I'm gonna be honest, it is tight. It is tight to the point where it used to freak some people out when I had it on my channel years ago because it used to look like the underside of a crab. I, honestly, I'm not just saying it. A lot of people thought it. A lot of people were like, I don't know if I like it. And I completely get that because I was living with my boyfriend at the time. This was, God, this was so long ago. Was this like 2018, 2019? Somewhere about that. Uh, and he thought it was weird. And visitors to the house were a bit like, okay, you know what I mean? So I understand it's an acquired taste. I think I need to do a video on plants that are like a weird acquired taste, actually. That's a good video idea. I'm gonna write that down. I don't see them large. I do not see them large. Sometimes nurseries release some of them, at least like here in the UK slash Europe or whatever. Probably way more prevalent in Europe. Most things are. But I don't see them often. So if you see one in a garden centre, seriously have a think about getting it because I'm telling you, you don't see them often. You don't really see them small. I, I don't feel like they'd be sold small in like a, an established garden centre. A boutique plant shop, maybe. But even a lot of boutique plant shops, they're getting their stuff from the same place that the garden centre does. So it, it kind of depends. But I really love this plant. Check it out, guys. Honestly, Instagram it. For me. For me. Me. Instagram it and tell me what you think because I really like it. Right, next plant is a bit more, it's similar, sort of. It's more palm like, and that is the Monstera subpenata. Again, it's similar, but it's a very, very delicate version. It's like if you meshed like a Raphidophora, a Monstera, and a palm together sort of get it. You'd sort of get that. And I think it's a really, really nice plant. And again, I don't see many people with it because when, let's be honest, when it gets to Monstera, I feel like a lot of us are quite lazy. Just just agree. Just agree with me, please. We are. We are. We like a bit of Adansonii in there if it's variegated, we'll just throw that in. We love a good Deliciosa. Whether it's large or small form, that's fine. We don't really dictate that. We, we dictate it by our egos and our space available in the house. I get that. But beyond that, no one really, you know, like even Monstera Silta Pecan and stuff, it's like, you don't, people aren't keeping it that much, right? They're just not. They're just not. Tell me different if you like, but I don't think they are. So I wanted to mention that because it is, it's quite delicate really. And and for a monstera, monstera, <laughs> delicate is not a word. <laughs> That I would use for Monstera. I think we can all agree. It's not It's not something that comes to mind. It's not the vibe, is it? It's just not. So I wanted to put it in because it's a nice alternative. And I know that a lot of the Raffidophora, there's a Raffidophora that's kind of similar and it's really, really nice. They're very, very similar vibes. And I see people owning that. So, right, next on the list. Ooh, one of my favorites. And I put it in by the name I knew it as and the name it now is, apparently. No one cared about this plant. No one has ever cared about this plant. Just to, just to like let you know where this is at. No one has ever given a shit about this plant. And it is absolutely absolutely lovely. It's got really sort of matte coloured leaves. I don't think I've got any anymore. I think they all died. They all died because they went to the top, the forklift broke, they died a death. Very, very bad. This is a long time ago. But the Philodendron Montanum slash what it should maybe now be known as, as Rosio Catafilum. So both names are on the screen, I think, give you the same thing. Guys, these plants. Oh, these plants. I used to sit in front of them, if you remember, in 2020, I did some videos in my old shop. I used to sit in front of them and everybody used to say, oh my god, what are they? Why do they stay, like, they stay really plump? they can take underwatering, blah, blah, blah. I loved them. I think most of the time they got held back because they're actually too big to send. They just became a problem. I bought them in. They were a bit too big when I got them in. I left them too long. They're a bit too big to send. So they never got sent out. And unfortunately, they've died of death. Um, I've, I think places like Equigenera probably still sell them. If they didn't, I would be very gutted. But that's a plant that I would absolutely have in my house. Like, I love these plants. Um, but you just don't say them. You just don't say them. But they're so tough, guys. They're so tough. I can't even tell you. Let me know what you think about that because I, I feel like no one knows or cares. I'm not just saying it. I don't think anyone did care about those. But I did. I was I was alone in repping them. Even though I was not selling them, by the way. It wasn't that kind of vibe. I was repping them without selling them in 2020. I just loved them. I literally remember sitting in front of a wall of them. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Right. Ooh. Number five. It's it's both because, you know, we love a good alternate option up in here. But number five, we have the Philodendron Golden Dragon. But I've also added the narrow form in because, they, they, to be honest, they're very different vibes. Now, I've already decided I kind of like the original. I It's one of few plants left on my wall. It's tough as shit. Let me tell you that. It is tough as shit. It's a really, really nice plant, guys. So tough. Grows really well. Sizes up really well. The narrow is harder. I I cut, no one might remember this, a while ago on a report, I cut a, a narrow form to bits, like into nodes. And the growth back from it has been crap. It's been crap, right? They don't, the narrow form's not great at 
growing and sizing up. Once it's established, it's kind of all right. But in terms of like growing it out from nothing, it's not the best. It's not the best. They, they look pathetic for a long time. The other golden dragon, different story. But I wanted to put these in because there's two different vibes here. And it depends whether you like them a little bit thicker, you know, or a little bit more long and slender. I, I, I'm not judging, you know, you, people, they, they like different things, you know, some people prefer them more like this, you know, and some people more like this, you know, and I think that's fine, and I think you do you. So anyway, I put them both in, so you could pick which one you wanted, because you should want one, you should want one, you should want one. Both are climbers, by the way, um, in terms of internodal spacing, not the best you're going to get a bit in between your nodes, so it's not going to be like the most compact thing you've ever had, but they're really, really nice, and I think you should pick one. For me, the, the, <laughs> say the chubbier one, the, <laughs> the regular form. <laughs> Fuck, Kaylee, just call it regular form. But yeah, let me know which one you prefer. Right, listen, I'm not very well. I'm not very well. I'm a sick girl. Right, next one on the list. Ooh, again. Oh my God, the amount of forms of this plant that there are, I couldn't actually tell you. It's probably upwards of like 30. I'm not exaggerating. There's probably a shit ton of forms of this plant. But the one I want to talk to you about is what we actually consider the classic, or I considered it classic. I dubbed it as classic in 2020 and then it, like, everyone was selling it as that, which I, I'm not really knocking that actually because it was the only way to really sort of distinguish it. I'm talking about the philodendron, uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the philodendron vericosum. I, my brain wanted to say gloriosum so bad because I just looked up there before and there's gloriosum staring at me. The philodendron vericosum, the classic. What do I mean? I mean the original form, guys, that you don't often see anymore. And it's it's not overly round. It's probably a little bit longer in shape and it the, the edges of it from memory, because I don't think I have any more. It's really sad, actually. But I think the edges were almost webbed a little bit. They, oh, it was a nice plant. It was a nice plant. At the time I mentioned it, there was so many different, like, oh my god, you'll, you'll still know now. So many different variations. Ver oh, guys, help me, help me. So many different variations of Vericosum out. You couldn't keep track. You couldn't keep track. I wouldn't say sellers were taking the piss because they generally were different, but god, it's just such a variable plant. Clearly, clearly, I don't know what people were doing with them, but the original. I am only talking about the original. Are there other nice versions? Yeah, sure, fine, yeah. But you never see them pass around. You never see them pass around. The, the best photos I might be able to find for you of the original, probably a lot of them that Enid has, because she had some crackers, and you should see what I mean. They look different. I think they're a bit hairier, they're a bit gnarlier. They're still quite red. The veining is different as well, I remember. The veining had like a forked... I'm doing this from memory, by the way. I'm not looking at plants, I literally... I have a list. But they had like a weird forked formation in the veining on the leaves, and they were just awesome. So I wanted to just bring that back for you, because we're at a time where I honestly think if you want to look for these, you probably find them, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill you money wise um and again when i say that i'm not saying things aren't still expensive i'm just saying we're, we're comparing it to a certain period of time aren't we really but i wanted to put that out there because people just they do not care enough about that plant and that upsets me that really upsets me right next on the list this is one that I like, and again, I don't think people have ever really given a shit about it, and that's fair, guys. I'm going to throw it at you one more time. Do I have any? Yes. Am I staring at it now? I don't know what that is. Probably not. No, it looks like a majesty, actually. I do have one or two. Um, for the longest time, I had a lot of these. These are tough. Oh my god, these are tough. These are tough. I'm talking about the philodendron. Like, I don't actually know what it is, but I always gave it a name. And the name never stuck or anything. I wasn't trying to name a plant, but it's my internal name within the shop. Um, and it was Philodendron Cardinal Beauty. What I mean by that, guys, is Philodendron Black Cardinal crossed with Philodendron Florida Beauty. And you've got the coolest plant. The, I mean, hopefully I've got good photos of it. I don't know. They, they were a hard plant to take photos of in the shop because the leaves always faced upwards like that. So all the plants I ever had were like this. And it was really hard to get the leaves to like face a photograph. It was a nightmare to sell just based on like photographic like reasons. But it was such a good plant. Really, really dark. It was like a berry... <sighs> Was it maroon? Sort of, yeah. It comes in a really nice colour. It comes in like a rust colour when the leaf emerges. It's got a cool shape. And it's just, it's just fucking so strong. It's so strong. And I want to put it out there because it's just different. And again, a lot of people aren't necessarily looking for expensive things. They're just looking for something different. Because I feel a lot of people, I don't know, oh, it's going to sound awful. I feel like a lot of collections look kind of the same, at least on Instagram, right? They, I just feel like they do. At least in the Aroid world, a lot of the time, things look quite same. It's like, oh, that's one of them. Oh, that's one of them. You see the same stuff. I just feel 
feel like if you want something a little bit different and you are into things with shapes, so I'm staring at a philodendron long below bottom or the Jerry Horn, Florida Beauty, like things with a shape to philodendron. It's a good one to have in there and you might not know about it. So I wanted to add it in because honestly, in terms of like performance wise, this shit is tough. Like if you've killed one, how did you neglect it? Like ha how, how did you kill it? I can't kill mine. I literally can't even kill it. Very, very tough plant. Right. Next plant I want to draw your attention to. I haven't owned this. I have not owned this, but I would own this because I love the... What's the other parent? I love one of the parents. I don't necessarily love the other parent because the other parent... I've had a mixed relationship with the other parent, but the plant I want to talk about, and again, I haven't had this. I haven't even seen it in real life, but I found it on the internet and I was like, ooh, shit. Don't want to hear people talk about it. The philodendron pink glory. You might be thinking, what the fuck? Who cares? Uh, nobody apparently, but let's see if we can care, right? So it's Philodendron Gloriosum crossed with Lai Nami Ai. Now, Gloriosum, I'm not going to waste your time talking about it. We all know what I think about it. It's literally my number one Philodendron of all time. And it was a close call. It was a close call. But I've dubbed it my number one Philodendron of all time, right? Absolutely iconic. Absolutely iconic. Lai Nami Ai. Eh. I, right. I love them. I got a load in. They did really well for me. But my God, they, they either grew brilliantly. It's a little bit like, I have the same problem with Anthurium Luxurians for some reason. They either grow brilliantly or they grow like shit and they don't grow at all. I don't find them to be as easy grows as I initially thought. I made my assessment based off, I think, where my plants were up there. Down here, they, they grew terribly. They grew so, so, so bad. So I don't have the best relationship with Linamii, per se. Gloriosum, I do. But I saw that the blend of the two was quite nice. And I believe, I, I can only assume new leaves are going to come in a bit pinky. So it's definitely something I would personally try. I don't know if I'd sell it in the shop because I don't know what the value is. I don't suspect it's a lot because Linami eyes come right down. Gloriosum's Gloriosum. So I don't know. I, I feel like it would be average to look after. It depends who the main parent is, obviously. Because if it's Gloriosum, none of y'all got anything to worry about. It's a great plant. But I just wanted to put it in front of you because I thought it was quite cute. Could be shit. Could be shit. But I thought it was quite cute. So I wanted to just let you know it exists. Because that's what the video is for, right? All right, next one. Ooh. This one. Do I have any to show you? Yeah, but they, they look... They don't look great. So the next plant I want to show you is Aglaonema. You should be able to finish that now. Pick them tricolor, guys. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Great, 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 great plant. And they've been loved by many for so long. I think the reason people fell out of love with these is because they, they weren't quite aware of how they tend to grow. Unless conditions for these guys are so optimal, right? And you really know your shit, which I admit I do not with Aglaonema. I haven't put the time in. Because I've only ever really had the pick thems in. So I haven't really felt the need to, right? But unless you're really, really on it. And I've seen people that are. I've seen people that are. It don't grow great. It grows more like a palm tree, as in like a coconut palm, like a typical cartoon palm tree. It doesn't really grow how people expect. And I think for a lot of reasons, that's sort of, it's just stopped people loving them. But you know what? It's different times now, guys. It's different times. We all have better environments because we've all collected more plants. Humidity's up, you know, light's probably up a little bit because we've got grow lights now. We've all stuck fucking salt air, whatever lights on the ceiling. You get my point. Maybe we should try again. Maybe we should try again because I might try again. I might try again. They're lovely, lovely plants. They're really, really nice. Let me know if you've actually actually kept one all this time. Did it grow like a palm tree? Is that why you got rid of it? Do you have, do you have it? Does it look great? I want to know. I really want to know. Because I have, I, th I can see three. I can see three. Oh, I can see four. I can see four. And honestly, they're about a foot tall and they've got lovely leaves on the top, but they're a foot tall. Now, a lot of that is neglect. I won't lie. A lot of it is. Of course it is. But generally, for a lot of people, that might be the reality. So let me know if you've still got one of those and how it's doing. Or tag me in one on Instagram. Literally tag me in one and go, here, here's a sexy one. And look, there's actually more than three leaves. And I'll be like, hey, awesome. Good for you. Right. The next one, a lot of you might know about because I actually put it on a repot recently. It's down there. It's done all right, actually. I might grab it for you. I'm not in the business of grabbing plants for these videos, but I'm going to grab this one for you. Two seconds. Since I've repotted it, it's not, it's not done amazing. I'm not going to sit here and say it's done amazing, guys. It's not done terribly, right? This guy, he, he could look better. Don't worry, he could look better. This is variegated ZZ. Did you all know about this? A lot of people don't know that you can get variegated ZZ. And they were a thing for a while and then they sort of, they dropped off probably because it's fucking impossible to propagate and if you do propagate it it's very slow you can get them by the way and get them overseas um I, I feel like getting some into the shop but i don't remember them shipping all that great problem because if this doesn't ship well and it comes in for me personally as a seller and not someone's got it in their house i have to wait a hell of a long time to get a return on it that's probably why this is an amalgamation if if anyone missed the video of just some very good ZZ i had and i just shoved it in a pot i haven't done anything specific with it so i've got one here that's well, i've got two here that's all yellow i've got this green boy that ironically the green guy has taken a hit there can you see that no 
idea why. Uh, but the rest of it's looking luscious and, and beautiful, actually. I've fed it with my feed. It needs another, when it at least needs a water. It's a bit dry. Like this one's growing quite nice. It is only this big guy that's taken a hit. The rest of it's all lush and pretty. Come out there, see? So, yeah, variegated's easy. I wanted to tell you about it because it's a nice plant and I just feel that no one really gives a shit. But why? Why? Is it because we've grown out of ZZ? Is it because ZZ's really common now? Because I'm actually, I think I've said this before, I really like a ZZ raven for the house. Um, and I'm hoping the cats don't care about it. But I, I, I like a lot of, my house has a lot of wood tones with pops of black. Is anyone surprised? Um, but that's like the main tones in the house, like off-whites, wood tones, black accents. That's the house with pops of green, obviously, that are plants. So a dark ZZ would be great. But the variegated one, I feel like people should have this because it's such an easy plant and we're all going to have spots that you can't fill with stuff, right? And I just think that's the perfect plant. So I wanted to remind you it existed. Now, what I'd like to do is more of these videos because I feel like, oh God, think about it, guys. All the plants we've had over the last three years, we're going to have forgotten loads of them. So I'd like to do more of these videos if that's okay with you as and when as and when they come out i'll do them probably in batches of 10 i'll do them across different plants because i think i need to find some more allocation and shit like that i definitely want to do that let me know what you think about this list because hopefully hopefully i've at least jogged some form of nostalgia and not some kind of like ptsd over a plant you've wasted loads of money on or anything um but let me know what you think about that in the comments let me know if there's anything for you that you're like oh my god the other day i saw this picture of this plant does everyone you know remember this let me know if there's anything for you because i'd love to read your comments i do love reading your comments guys with a cup of of coffee on the morning when I get up, especially on a Saturday because obviously I post these videos on Friday. Until then, I will love you and leave you. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that you'd enjoy the content that I make and that I can keep making more. Similarly, if you'd like to see more of my videos, then please feel free to subscribe. That's it for this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you and I'll see you undoubtedly in the next one. Bye.